Hi, this is William, and I thought this would be something fun to share. I played around with this for a project I'm working on called All Praise the Icon. I wanted to give one of the characters a holographic vocal effect. Good morning, instructors. This is your recorded service board update. As your elected consul representing your... Here's a simple approach you might find useful using Adobe Audition's built-in tools. It could be a hologram or a communication system, so on and so forth. I'll presume a cursory familiarity with the program. First, I got the vocal track the way I wanted it. Good morning, instructors. This is your recorded service board update. Then I exported a mix down of the section I wanted to alter. Next, I imported that new file and lined it up with the original track. Holding Shift and Option, I dragged duplicates of the file down onto two additional tracks. Now the reason I did this is because right now technically these are all referencing the same file, so if I directly manipulate one of these, it will propagate to the others, and that's not what we're looking for. So to get around that, I select all three of these files, which are the same file, and right click. Then choose Convert to Unique Copy. Now we have three separate files. Then I double click on the first one I want to manipulate, and this opens the Waveform Editor. With a Command A, I've selected the entire thing, and I go to Effects, Noise Reduction and Restoration, select Hiss Reduction. And here, inside the Effect window, uh, you can play around with the nodes in real time and get the sound you want. You can also loop the playback here. This is your recorded service board update. As your elected consul representing your interests in the provisional governing body, Good morning, instructors. This is your recorded service. What we want to do is output the sound we normally use this tool to isolate and eliminate simply by clicking output hiss only. And now we get that sweet communication device sound. As your elected consul representing your interests. Now let's move on to the second manipulation. So we're back in the timeline. Double click to open the waveform editor again. Now we're going to drag and select a small portion of this speech. Counterintuitively, we're going to use this to define a noise print. So we go up here to Effects, Noise Reduction and Restoration again. Capture Noise Print. You see we get this little pop-up which says what we have selected will be stored as the noise print for the next time we use Noise Reduction, which is right now. Dismiss the pop-up, select the entire file again, Choose Effects, Noise Reduction, and Restoration, and right there, Noise Reduction Process. In this little pop-up, you can define how much noise reduction to apply. Do, 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 do. And once again, we want to select Output Noise Only. This is your recorded service board update. As your elected consul representing your interests in the provisional governing body. And this sounds cool, like a busted up speaker. Good morning, instructors. So we apply that and jump out again to the multi-track timeline. And now we double click our final file to manipulate. Now back in the waveform editor, select all, choose effects and the special category, and you'll see distortion. In this pop-up, I just went with the built-in preset they call swamp thing. There are other presets, of course, and you can adjust the parameters manually as well. I liked Swamp Thing since it gave it a nice, crunchy sound. Good morning, instructors. Back on our timeline, I slide the sounds a bit, just offsetting them a few frames from the original sound on top. And that sounds cool. Good morning, instructors. For some seasoning, I grabbed some text sound effects and dropped those beneath the voices to suggest a hologram's transmission. Good morning, instructors. This is your recorded service board update. 
and then I peppered in some isolated glitches. Lastly, I connected the tracks to a bus. And on this bus, I applied the FFT filter to adjust specific frequencies. Here again, there are a number of presets. I went with telephone voicemail. And now here's the effect with some additional sound design. Good morning, instructors. This is your recorded service board update. As your elected consul representing you. So you can see how you can adjust the mix of these different effects, change their volume, however you like. A little bit more of this, a little bit less of that. Or you could pan one or more of these tracks to the left or to the right and keep the original voice in the center. All sorts of possibilities. I hope this brief overview was helpful. Thanks for watching.